All right, hello everyone. This is Dr. Tushar Mehta. I'm an orthopedic surgeon and faculty of orthopedics. Well, this video is a very, very concise video about bone tumors. I am sure you all are able to see laminated, laminated, layered periosteal reaction. That is what is called as onion skin and onion peel appearance. Well, by the way, this picture is what we know by the name of, come on, speak up everyone, Ewing sarcoma, age group. 5 to 15 years, most common primary malignant bone tumor of first decade of life initially presents with pain, swelling along with fever, very closely mimics osteomyelitis. X-ray will show onion skin, onion peel appearance, usually seen in diaphysis, most common bone femur, very, very important because MRI gives an idea, but then biopsy is the gold standard. In biopsy, you will see on histopathology, small round cells positively staining with pass. Immunohistochemistry will show CD99 marker positive, but ultimate gold standard is translocation 11 22, most chemosensitive, most radiosensitive bone tumor, Ewing sarcoma. The one that you are looking at right now is a growth of the bone outside the bone with a bony stalk, cartilaginous cap we are talking about. The most common benign bone tumor, which is not a true bone tumor, that is what is called as osteochondroma, usually solitary in number, rarely multiple, usually pedunculated, less commonly sessile, with stalk pedunculated, less common sessile. Majority of the cases are asymptomatic. If at all it is diagnosed, it is more of an incidental diagnosis. Nothing much needs to be done. The third case that you need to see here is basically a simple bone cyst, a solitary bone cyst, a unicameral bone cyst, usually seen in skeletally mature people, boys more than girls, although here they have shown proximal fibula, but otherwise most common bone is proximal humerus. Usually remains asymptomatic, but may complicate and most common complication and clinical presentation is the same pathological fracture, well-defined cystic lesion, fluid-filled cavity. People have started believing less of neoplasia, more of inflammation. Treatment is intralesional, initially steroids for aspiration followed by steroids. If it is recurrent, then one can try surgery. Just like you have a SBC, you have an ABC. It is again seen in skeletally mature people, usually metaphysis, proximal tibia, most common bone, multiple blood filled sinusoids coalescing together with fibrous septa in between them. Girls more commonly seen in Volga as compared to boys. On a microscopic structure, it will show giant cell. It is considered to be the closest, closest, closest giant cell variant. You can see a central lucency, which is a nidus less than 2 cm in diameter, abundant, filled with prostaglandins. Those prostaglandins are the reason for night pain, giving aspirin gives you relief, surrounded in periphery by thick reactive sclerotic rim. So technically you have a nidus called osteoid, surrounded in periphery by osteoma, that is what is called as osteoid osteoma, most common true benign bone tumor. Night pain is classical, aspirin relief is super classical. The most common primary malignant bone tumor of non-hematopoietic origin, most common radiation-induced bone tumor, most radio-resistant bone tumor, of course, usually seen in skeletally mature people, metaphyseal area, distal femur, followed by proximal tibia, sunrise sunburst appearance, periosteal erection along Sharpie's fiber, periosteal elevation, codeman's triangle, neoadjuvant treatment is a treatment of choice. When we talk about this, this is basically a problem which is seen within the bone, usually boys more than girls, uh, skeletally mature people, three E's, E for epiphyseal, E for expensile, and E for eccentrically located. Biopsy will show you chicken wire calcification. We are talking about chondroblastoma, also what is called as Codeman's tumor. Codeman gives two things, Codeman's strangle, Codeman's tumor. Codeman's strangle is seen in osteosarcoma. Codeman's tumor is another name for chondroblastoma. Most common bone tumor of hand bones, benign bone tumor of hand bones, usually seen in short tibular bones of hand and feet. Hand more commonly involved as compared to feet, but can be seen in long bones like femur. We are talking about enchondroma, usually solitary, rarely multiple. Whenever they are multiple, they become M for MCQ, they become Olier's disease <coughs> and Mofosi syndrome. So Olier's disease, multiple enchondromatosis, Mofosi syndrome, multiple enchondromatosis plus cavernous hemangioma plus phlebolith. This was a quick glance of all the tumors in one go in one video. I hope you get benefited during the revision. If you have seen this video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. I wish you all the best. Thank you.